Hey folks, Trey's Monk here. Playing some more of the Talus Principle, we're trying to unlock the capability to use the recorder device, which is probably going to make these puzzles significantly harder. Because I remember having to deal with that crap in uh, Braid. And admittedly, you didn't have fine tooth control of that, but. Okay. So. <laughs> Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. Okay. So. This connector is holding down the switch that's holding this gate open. And there's a star. Ooh, star. Uh. What is that? Where is that going to or from? There is a connector beam going somewhere. See? Lucky for me, this is not actually an impossible task. It's just tricky. That'll turn the fan on, which will shoot the block over here. See? And then I can take this and go there. I have to wonder just a little bit. Nope. Ew. Hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to put the block down on this. I mean, slightly goofy. This is actually a really easy puzzle. I do wonder how to get Monsieur Star over here. What is this? Where is... What is that going to? This makes no sense. There's no red in here. Although there is apparently a blue beam coming from somewhere and going to somewhere else over there. Maybe that's the next puzzle over? Are those the same height? No, they are not the same height. lower. I doubt there's any spot that's actually lower in a way that's meaningful. Oh, so close. I can almost just jump over that wall. I mean, that seems kind of what you got have to do. Unless there's like something that let you take like three blocks from somewhere else. Hmm. And yeah, that beam, it must be from another puzzle. Or from a spot outside of the world. And that just raises further questions. Like, why would there be one there? Does it 
make this wall disappear? I was thinking for a minute if you could like get up there and turn that thing around that maybe you could blow yourself into that, but I don't know. But more blue beams. More blue beams that way. Alright, on to the other piece that I need. Uh, fan block. Sunshot. Ooh. Fun. I'm seeing right now that in order to get myself over there I have to leave a block behind in each place but that over there. Now I can't get over there. <sighs> At least not without figuring out whatever I'm supposed to figure out for this dang puzzle. Uh, I need to have something to set on that thing there. But I also have to have something to set on this right here. So unless I can like come over here and like Catch it in mid flight. It's kind of annoying that it just like, once you get over the top, it just like unceremoniously dumps you. It's like, hey man. Stupid. There's a ladder on this side. Pardon me while I take the little dunce prizes here. Done with the we're done with the sigils that we needed for the recorder. I guess well, I still have to solve the recorder puzzle. The 
but after that, unless something else opens up, The only thing I seem to have now is C to open up. Looks like I need to do some puzzles in 4 and 5. Then maybe go back to A for a bit. Ah, yes. Intro to recorders. And then that one's just a use all the things except for recorders type puzzle. I have promised you eternal life. But know that eternity may only uh. be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Hidden words before the beginning of time before somebody turned you on? Right. Another thing about Osiris. Knew it was the truth. Now I will tell you of the many perils you will face in the journey through the Duat. Listen well, for the challenges that lie before you are great. And if you do not prove yourself worthy, you may never reach the eternal reed fields of Osiris. And you may be lost forever. From the second death, there is no awakening. The scribe brought forth a great papyrus and carefully unfolded it before the dying man, and the dying man beheld that it was a map of the Duat, showing the many paths that led to the Tower of Anubis, where his heart was to be weighed. On each of the many paths, which threaded through the Duat like infinite threads woven by Neth, there were marked the dangers that a traveler must face. Also, there were great walls of iron, but none that none but the gods could cross, and gates made of purest light. And so the traveler could not avoid the trials that had been decreed, and could only proceed towards the tower by proving his worth, thus earning the key to each sacred gate. Sounds a lot like what we're doing right now, kinda. Kinda, sorta. Man, you know what really freaks me out? What? The human body decomposes quite quickly, so all the information stored in chemicals in our brain will be gone really quickly. Dude. But computers and books last a long time, so all our messages, our ideas, our books, it'll all be out there. Our porn. Even being transmitted through space. Yeah, our porn too, I guess. We'll all be gone, but the works of Aristotle will still exist. So will Star Trek, Firefly, Babylon 5, Lord of the Rings, Blade Runner. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's supposed to be Cybercox of Planetron 6, Shakespeare, Byron, hell even video games. And dude is like just listing porn. Ah. A journal from Arcady. Archive continues to grow, attempting to maintain a semblance of order as difficult as expected. Lost seven people this week. Statistically speaking, trend should increase. Must focus on realistic goals. Too little time to grieve. What are people dying of? What was this end of the world thing? Alright, so we're headed down here to this one. Let's see. Oh look, another puzzle, and another voice telling me I'm special, and another broken down computer with fragments of nothing. This world is a bad joke perpetuated by a cruel god too dumb to hit the off switch. Wow, man. Pessimistic much? So... Oh, 
Oh, the switch is to the gate. Huh, fun. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here and record. Sit here for a few seconds. And we go back over here. Now that's off. Now we can go record. Record ourselves shutting off this gate. Stand here for a few seconds, a few seconds, a few seconds, and then come back. Okay, so there's one piece. Piece two down here to the left. Double plate. Oh, fun. Possible. No, no. Ow. Oh. Stand on this plate. Four, five. And then stand on that plate. Two, three, four, five. And then go over here. Play our recording. Come on. And voila. Okay. That's a reasonable set of circumstances there. Now, I'm not going to do any of the other puzzles in this little area right now. Let's take a look at what we have here. Oh no, that's going backwards. Uh, although, let's see, was there anything beside this? Nope. Nothing behind us where we came in either. Sphinx. Child program terminated here. Fatal flaw in series firmware. Final memory dump. Life's short. Progeny programs. D0G. Ooh. DNA is information transmitted across time. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species. But humanity has taken this bond further. Thanks to technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Like you listening to me now. Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, you're part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. No 
one thing that I do happen to know. Hold on, hold on. Look at the sheer scale of that pyramid to think anyone could have built such things. One thing I do happen to know is that messages from Uriel tend to be key, keys to finding stars. Oh, what is this? I'm sure I could stick around here, set my hopes on eternal life. I'm writing every wrong, but the closest I'll ever get is these words on the wall before you. Yeah, interesting. Especially since that's apparently the guy, or the, the program, or the person, or whatever, that terminated here due to firm weather issues. Final memory dump, life short. The progeny program, D0G, which is the guy over here, or the... I really shouldn't call them guys. It's actually a tad bit, you know. See, this is D0G. Oh, look, another puzzle. We've got the greens from here. Let's go over to five, where the only other greens left in this zone are. And check out the terminal, because the terminal is always wanting to start itself up. Osiris 7. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are the blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to Aru, and, they, and so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Duat? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known, and that these must be avoided at all costs, but others say that these too serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not re revealed to us. And what of the hidden paths that are taken by something when the something... Coming soon. From Rob McLean to Mom, coming soon, your son in 3D. Hi, Mom. I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple of weeks? I know, I know, but what we're doing here is important, and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise. But there's so much we have to set up. So much that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, L is pretty much the best there is. At the team, Mom, it's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course. But Dad would totally be geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell him about it soon, huh? Maybe you can tell him about it soon. Okay? I mean, it's possible that his parents just aren't together, but he's also probably thinking about after I die and go to heaven or whatever. Log 24 alive. What is the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question and not one that's easy to answer, but I mean, if you're reading this, you're alive, and someday you will stop being alive. Both of these facts are incontrovertible. So what about it then? Don't you wonder? Do you just want to go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether a life was good or not? It may seem abstract right now, but that moment just before death will come. This, it is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? Well, I personally believe that we give life its purpose that we kind of have to find a purpose for life, generally speaking. Uh, 
Oh, we actually have a bit more of a wide open field-ish area here. We have a... I don't see the pyramid from here, but maybe it's just not loaded in. There's the moon over there again. Although I don't know if that is supposed to give us any sort of perspective on where we are or how far out we might be. The answers to your questions will not be given to you. You must seek them yourself. I know, I keep bumping up against things. It's kind of halfway on purpose. Ooh. Hidden terminal. Hidden-ish terminal. Alright, well. Next time on A Trace Monk Plays the Talus Principle, we read more terminal files. And then we try to finish our path to sea. I doubt we'll finish it all in one go, but maybe we will. Mm, I don't know. Uh, but this has been Atreus Monk playing the Talos Principle. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.